This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen The Young Girls of Rochefort, a musical romantic comedy feature from 1967 directed by Jacques Demy. Despite the title's insistence, it actually follows quite a few characters in this town as a carnival rolls in over the weekend, bringing with it the promise of a future for two artistic sisters, Delphine and Solange, who have tired of their life in their hometown and wish to move to Paris. Before they leave, they each find themselves falling in love, Delphine with a painter she's never met, and Solange with a foreigner she only met by accident. As the day of their departure draws closer, the chances of finding their new lovers again grows smaller, and yet hope and happiness continue to linger in the air. Or something like that, at least. Without spoiling things, it's not a melancholy story at all. It's actually pretty well-rounded, balanced out between the sisters, their mother, their love interests, and a couple of others all of whom have their own parts to play in the greater narrative. There are one or two storylines that get swept up and brushed aside by the film's end, but everything is otherwise tied together. The themes of love and connection and longing drive these storylines forward, not only within individual stories, but universally as well. It's a facet most obviously supported by the film's musical direction, making it an immediate follow-up to Demi's previous movie, The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, but separating itself by being more traditional, with songs and dances that break up various story scenes. It makes for a rather nice tribute to Golden Age Hollywood musicals, what with their sense of whimsy and romance. It also explains why some of the characters are a bit lacking in depth, since they seem to be aligned more towards further homage, rather than being anything more unique. In any case, the overall tone is upbeat and optimistic, being sure to put the greater emotional states of characters on display, even going as far as to include dancers in the background of pure dialogue scenes as if the local townsfolk aren't simply content with just standing around. Speaking of visuals, the young girls of Rochefort has an art design as lovely and as lively as its predecessor, though it does, again, do what it can to set itself apart. This movie uses a very bright color palette, with warmer shades that give everything a sort of faded storybook feeling. Cinematography keeps its sights more grounded to better highlight all of this, while still being able to present it all in a rather creative and energetic manner that keeps the camera moving within shots to follow the action. In fact, this movie is probably one of the better examples of a musical using long takes to allow the singers and dancers to do everything in as few cuts as possible letting it all flow out uninterrupted and in real time. It goes without saying that music itself maintains a constant presence even outside of the musical numbers, again keeping the town of Rochefort and its people in motion, as if following a never-ending rhythm that keeps everybody in sync, maybe even in a surreal sense based on how everyone knows the choreography, it seems. The movie has a pretty tight construction in its attention to musical detail, and yet it still feels loose and flowing, as if these events are simply natural to the town. And by the end, it feels less like the movie is simply paying a tribute to classical musical films, and more like it's learning from them combining their trademarks with the director's own creative style and storytelling to become a wholly new experience of sorts. The Young Girls of Rochefort, Jacques Demy, 
1967. Four and a half stars. I would definitely recommend checking it out. That's it for me. If you liked this review, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I gotta say, Rochefort seems pretty nice this time of year. Or, well, whenever the movie was shot. I wonder how useful Demi's films are now as travel guides ahead of a visit to France.